Welcome back, everyone, to a particularly unique episode today. Today, I am playing The Veil, Shadow of the Crown. One might be wondering, what is so special about this game? Well, I'll tell you, it is a blind accessible game that, in theory, is supposed to be able to be played entirely blind. That you should not have to be able to see to play this. One thing you missed right at the beginning, it does say press start or space to continue or to start. I... it does read that out to you. Any text that shows up in this game will be read to the player. But, for warning, there is no... or there are no visuals to speak of in this game because you are playing a blind princess. You can only do anything via sound. So the visuals in that you'll see are basically just colorful like firefly lights and that's it. <laughs> that's all you're going to be able to see. Oh, there uh, there will be in the lower left hand corner an, an overlay for my controller. It's actually a PS5 controller for whatever that's worth. And um, oh right, it does also pop up uh, menus. I don't know how they're pulled up necessarily, but I'll figure that out. And it will read out the text to the player. Otherwise, that's really going to be the extent of the graphics. I did try to crank up the, the audio for myself so that I can uh, hear what's happening. Since it's exclusively, well, for the most part, an audio game. This is... Uh, and just... You know, if you don't want to hear me talking about this anymore, and you just want to get into the gameplay, just skip forward a couple of minutes, probably. But I do want to just mention a couple of things uh, before I get started. First, I, you know, I am a physically abled person. I don't have any disabilities to speak of, really. Uh, and there's my cat jumping up and getting in the way of the microphone again. So, I, I don't know. This is I don't. I'm, I'm not myself blind, so I don't know if this is actually a fully accessible game for blind people, because maybe the game is, but if the game is um, accessible but Steam isn't, then it's really kind of hard to say. So I don't know Steam's level of accessibility or if this is available on other platforms that make it accessible. Um, something else I was going to say. Oh, right. I have been so excited to play this game to see if it's actually if it is what it says it is and it's you know i think text-based like choose your own adventure type of games are going to be pretty more easily blind accessible because it's strictly text-based and if it reads it out to you and gives you the prompts that's really all you need but this is audio based and you I mean you do fight battles you do move around in the world by your hearing I think it might be kind of like the games where you can move in the four cardinal directions and it's like on grids I don't know that for sure I'm just guessing and I I've always wondered and I've been hoping that someone would create this type of game for a very long time because like I Video games are such a huge part of my life, and I know that it's it's unfortunate because they are video games that you can't, I mean, you can play uh, without sight, because I've seen people playing, like, fighting games and absolutely acing them while blind. It is, of course, more difficult. And so, seeing this actually being created is, it feels like an important step. I don't know. I have no idea if there are other games out there like this that are kind of an uh, sort of an action adventure type of game where you don't have sight. That said, I have seen some criticism leveled at this game as because it's a piece of media that exists in the world, so of course there's going to be criticism, that perhaps the audio quality is not up to par, which, if true, is understandable criticism. Because that's the entire focus of the game. However, if there aren't really other games of this type out there, 
the first iteration of a new thing is never going to be perfect. There's always going to be something that can be improved upon. So, to that end, maybe this isn't perfect. It's not uh, exactly what the developer and the um, accessibility community wants it to be, but it is a step forward, potentially. I, if I'm missing something and there's some, like, huge issue with this, please let me know, because I, I want to be an ally, as it were, and I want to be able to highlight these types of games and have it be done appropriately rather than highlighting something that's just not working in any sense of the word. So with that, all of that out of the way, uh, I think I'll take a sip of tea and get started. Because no one wants to listen to Dry Mouth into a microphone. Main menu. Push down on the left stick to cycle through the main menu options. Start new game. Game options. Hmm. Game credits. Game options. Oh, uh, just for Press reference. The right trigger to select an option. Use the left stick to cycle through options. Thank you. I am playing this um, with my eyes closed because I do want to get a feel for if it is actually um, accessible. Like, if I can actually play this without seeing anything. Start new game. Please select starting difficulty. Push down on the left stick casual setting. Um, Press the right trigger to select this normal setting. Press the right trigger to select casual. casual. Well, Press normal setting. Let's go with normal. The game is set to normal. The king is dead. It was not a hero's death. It was the slow death of an old man. But it gave him time to plot and fuss about his affairs. Enough time, in fact, to spare a rare thought towards his second born. What to do with me? The blind girl he'd hid away in the keep. Would I be allowed to stand at my brother's side as he took his place on the throne? No. Even from the grave, my father would not allow me to burden the family. No less than 500 miles of barren heath and twisting veil would keep me from doing that. And now? Here I am, on the approach to my new home on the outskirts of the kingdom. I hear a river. Where are we, Uncle? We're crossing now. You, Alex, are officially home. Describe it for me. I would think the smell of sheep would provide all you need to know. You could have said something nice. Made something up. Honesty is the greatest gift a princess could receive. Then you spoil me, Uncle. <laughs> Why would it be my father's dying wish to send me to the Borderlands? Your brother is king. Your father wanted you to have something of your own. That's honesty. Even in death, father wanted his sightless daughter as far away as possible. I wanted you to have something of your own. From one second born to another, it's not an easy thing being in someone's shadow. I like the shadows. You hear more honesty there. You will make a wise lady, even out here in the borderlands. I'll make some chieftain's son a disappointing wife. You'll be just fine. As long as you can tell the difference between the men and the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Lord. What is it? Odetan riders from the northwest. How many? An army, my lord. Can we make the castle? No. They're on us now. Two arms! Two arms! Wait here, Alex. Uncle? brother theo theo yes uh what happened 
We were playing blind seeker. You fell down the stairs of the loft. This always happens to me, doesn't it? Because you're the only one who can't cheat. Everyone else peeks under the blindfold. No. Rolf tricked me. He led me to the edge of the stairs. Well, the little turd is hiding by the mill wheel right now. Little turd. <laughs> I won't say anything to father if you were to be careless with your cane as you search there. Use the left stick to walk in any direction. Use right stick to turn on the spot. Ah, oh, gotcha. Yep, so it is sort of a... By the mill. I think it's... He's by the mill wheel. I think it's here. Sorry, I'm not going to be speaking probably too much because I'm really f honing in on the sound. It might be also worthwhile to either play this game on your own with uh, headphones as I am or listening to this with headphones. Definitely to my right. He's by the mill wheel. Yes, I know. How far away is it? I don't know how loud a mill it's wheel right is. There. Oh. Go ahead. Swing. Push the right stick in the direction you wish to swing. back in the kitchens. Yes, my lord. You may go too, Theo. Yes, uncle. Sorry, Alex. I see you've found a new use for your cane. What is my punishment? If anyone should be punished, it's me. The things I should have taught you years ago. Like what? I stand directly in front of you. And I want you to swing your cane at me. You want me to hit you? Yes. My punishment. Your first lesson. Push the right stick in the direction you wish to swing. Swing at me, now. Excellent. Now, when I move, your head will remain facing forward as to conceal your level of awareness from your enemy. My enemy? Listen. Now swing at me again. Very good. Now, I'm moving to stand directly in front of you again. I want you to swing as many times as you can, as fast as you can. Uh. Faster. Uh. 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 That's good. Uh. Know your limit. You want to be selective with your strikes. You will be limited to only a few consecutive strikes before you must pause to catch your breath. An exhausted fighter is a dead fighter. And what do you think is the first rule of combat? Don't die? Precisely. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, logic tracks. Uh, hello? Uncle? Ah. The carriage. It must have overturned. Night. How long have I been out? I need water. I'll have to get to the river. Uncle? Hello? Don't be stupid, Alex. Just to say you'll find a friendly answer. Oh, oh, good. Thanks. Love to hear that. That's reassuring. Whoa. 
Oh. Oh. A body. Oh. Love that. Soldier. Fur-lined tunic. He's not one of ours. Perhaps Uncle made it out okay. Let's see here. Uh. Yes. A sword. There we are. Rusted. Broken. Better than nothing. And a scabbard. You'll have to do for now. You have gained a tier one sword. The back or select button will bring up the character menu, where you can review equipment, coin, and travel options. Character menu. Ah. Push down on the left stick to cycle menu options. Equipment. Sure. Use left stick to cycle equipment. Left trigger to return to character menu. Broken sword. Press. Use Oops. left stick to cycle item stats. Left trigger to return item quality. Tier 1 sword. Critical chance bonus. 10%. Heavy attack critical chance bonus. 20%. Critical damage multiplier. 3. Mm. Heavy attack. Critical damage multiplier. Heavy attack. Guard break chance. 40%. Mm. Attack speed. Medium. Come on. Endurance recovery. Medium. Coin value. Zero copper. Oh, love that for me. Let's see, like, attack. Endure. Attack. Heavy, heavy, critical damage. Heavy attack. Critical, ch critical chance. Item quality. Tier one sword. Well, critical I'm not sure. chance bonus. Go back. Use left stick to cycle a broken sword. Press right trigger to review item stats. Character menu. Push down on the left stick to cycle menu options. Equipment, coin and salvage. Mm. Press resume game. Oops. Oh, there we go. Water. Herb. so thirsty who's there uncle okay uh oh not uncle you like sticks <laughs> go get it well shit I've got a heavy one here now fair warning you're getting this one in the muzzle Damn it. Got you, little bastard. Sleeping tonight. Ugh. What do I do, Uncle? What would Theo do? I suppose a king wouldn't find himself alone 500 miles from his home. 500 miles. I suppose I start walking. lead east they say unless you're walking in the exact wrong direction <sighs> talking to yourself like a madwoman hey there's nothing wrong with talking with to there? oneself friend or foe depends are you with your dead and horde no i have no money i'm not out to rob you you're limping you're injured you're blind but perceptive. Friend or foe? You're highborn. You're not from the borderlands. And you? A shepherd. Where's your flock? In the bellies of barbarians. 
We are not foes, then? It would appear not. I hear men approaching. Are they the King's Guard? Afraid not, girl. This is where we part ways. Good luck. Wait. Oh, thanks, jackass. Well, what do we have here? <laughs> Looks like a shiny prize to me. Don't suppose she's the one the general's looking for? Okay. Stay calm. Think, Alex. You wanted to see me, Uncle? You are going to learn how to use a sword today. My father wants me to learn how to use a sword. In truth, no, he does not. However, a princess and future protector of the realm need first be able to protect herself. Wouldn't that be my brother's job? Protector of the realm? Firstborns get killed every day, girl. You're going to learn this. Here, take this sword. Okay. Grip it. Firmly. You know I've never cared that you're blind. And our enemies will not care about that either when they set out to kill you. Now, I love monarchies. I want you to swing your sword at me. Don't worry, the blade is not sharp. Push the right stick in the direction you wish to swing. Excellent. As you can hear, your attacks are easy for me to parry as long as I'm not trying to do something else. Something else? Like what? Like hitting you. Uh, that hurt. Now, if you don't want that to happen again, you're going to have to hit me first. And if you're quick enough, I won't be able to parry. Are you ready? I suppose. Listen for sounds that lead into my swing. My armor, the shift of my weight, and swing the second you hear it. Okay. Uh, very good. One more time. Ah! Excellent. Now, shall we play a little game? No. Strike me three times and you win. All right. Oh, and I'm going to move around this time. Uh, oh, very good. Uh, excellent. I thought you said you were going to move. Oh, shit. Very good. That's three for you, niece. Well done. I know you think you don't need to learn this, but our enemies are unyielding and they show no mercy. Not for the young, nor the old, nor the blind. I want you to be strong. Even stronger than your brother, because no one knows what the future might hold for you. All right, uncle. What's wrong with you, girl? What are you staring at? Stay back, or I'll start swinging. <laughs> where's the Where's the other half of your sword? What are you waiting for? I think she is blind. Then that should make it easy for you. <laughs> <laughs> She got you good. Taking all of my concentration. How many are there? Girl. 
Is that the shepherd? Yes. Take my hand. Before more arrive. Where are you taking me? Safety. I have a camp nearby. One of the complaints about the game was that the combat is relatively samey because it's three directions and you just figure out where the noise is coming from for the most part, which Sorry, girl, is fair, I off. guess. What's a lame shepherd going to do against practice killers? I suppose I should thank you for coming back. I suppose you're welcome. I need to get back to the capital. To my brother. The capital? What are you doing out here? Merchant family? My family is very wealthy. There would be a reward if I was escorted back safely. Escort a blind girl 500 miles down a treacherous valley in the wake of an invading horde. Not sure what reward would be worth that. What would you do with me then? Teach you to tend sheep? Get your pretty hands dirty. You could buy a thousand sheep with the reward my family could provide. A thousand? <laughs> Must be some family you have. Or you don't know the price of sheep. Do you have a name? Could be both. Alex. Alex. They're not mutually exclusive. I am Abdel Rashid. Call me Shepherd if you like. Hmm. Okay. Shepherd. Getting you home, Alex, will depend on where the Odedin are headed, how well I can heal up, and who we can find to help us on the way. My uncle and I were traveling with a guard when we were attacked. They may still be around. If that horde set upon them, they would have been killed. I'm still here. Then you were not worth the trouble. Get some rest. It will be safer to travel later at night. I suppose you're indifferent to the dark. Thank you, Shepherd. Don't thank me yet, sheep. The valley home is long and winding. It conceals more than just barbarians. Oh, here we go. Back to the memories of the past again. Alex, oh, sorry. Pay attention. Yes, Uncle. Now, you interrupt. As a blind fighter, you will be well served to have a shield. Oh yeah, that's a good Take idea. Here, with <laughs> Please. Your left hand. It's heavy. Uh -huh, as yes. it should be. Now, this time, when I swing at you, I want you to raise your shield. Hold the left stick in the direction of your target to block. Are you ready? Right. Sure. Raise your shield. Excellent. Now, right after you block my attack, you'll have a split second to counterattack. It's a more defensive way to fight. Give it a try. Block my attack and immediately counterattack. Use the left stick to block your target. Then release left stick and immediately counterattack using the right stick. Very good. Another game, then. Defeat me any way you want. Attack as I swing, or block and counterattack. On guard, girl. I do like to block. Uh, oh. uh, Although this is swifter. <laughs> Once again. Ah. Well done, niece. Can I please have a shield now? Because I was really missing that in the the wolf fight. Alex, wake up. What is it? Oh, Dedin. They've set up camp on the ridge above us. Love yep, that. Moving. Follow me. This way. Over here. Oh god, I forgot I have to move. Speak again, please. Nope. It's a raiding party. They supply the horde as it moves. I'm afraid this won't be the last one we run into. What do you see? About ten warriors. Yeah. In small groups around the clearing. They would absolutely kill no me. No room but... to get around. There's no central fire. They probably don't like each other much. I'll need a shield. What are you going to do with that? 
use it if I have to. For now, I'll try to draw them away. You stay here. Wait! I'll come back for you. My uncle promised me the same thing. I'm a cunning shepherd. I won't get caught. Son of a dog. What was that? What do we have here? No! What? Great. Okay. Ah, fortune shines upon us. <laughs> it's the royal brat. We have our orders. Kill her and bring her to the general. No! <laughs> You were off somewhere. I said, I'll draw them away. You wait. Oh. No. Oh my god. It's not going to work. How would you know that? I just do. It's too dark. We'll move together. I'll lead. All right. We'll need to get to the river. Going to try to go left and around. Sound entirely too close. Don't like that. I feel like I'm far enough away, but maybe just a little bit further. Hey, look what I found. What is this? The shield you requested. Oh, weapon stance. Is Love that. Is this a barrel lid? It suits you. Eh. Now keep moving. You have gained a tier one shield. Hmm. They're still to my right somewhere. So are they, but I think I'm getting further away. Uh, Damn it. Okay. Not this way. Uh. I see. It gives me a a invisible wall. There were. Okay. Oh come on. Okay, I can hear them only to my right, but the river is in front of me. Okay. Sort of. God damn it. Another way then. Okay, well. I think this should do it. I can hear them. Is that behind me? God damn it. Uh, your voices. Take that into the woods next time. Please let me go off to the left some more. Not this Damn way. it! Stop! Uh. Come on! Just walk in the brush a little bit more. Not this way. Yes, this way. It's fine, I swear. Nope. Yes! Another way then. Hi. I'm entirely too close to them. Uh. 
I am sweating bullets right now. Ah, crap. Yep, forget. Use the wrong thing. At least their army's egalitarian. It sounds like they've got both men and women. Yield, please. Okay, thank God. That was nerve wracking. And it's somewhat unrealistic that they would not call each other, but I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Can we run to the river? Another way then. Oh, hell. Oh, fuck. Okay. No? Yes. Ah. Uh. Oh, more to the right. Nope. Oh. Not this way. What is happening? Shepard. Help. Another way, then. What's the play here? What am I doing? Are you there, Shepard? Oh, there yes. we go. I think we're clear of the camp. <laughs> Damn it. Patrol. Hey, you there. Who are you? Stay calm, Alex. Let me talk. Look at me. Uh, my uh, sister and I were just returning home from treating lepers outside Bolt Keep. Lepers, you say? Bring the torch. Bring the torch! Sorry, Alex. We'll have to run. Or fight. Oh, sure. It's the missing princess. I'll tell the others. And share the glory? I don't think so. Oh, well, that's you just rude. Run. Attacking a blind woman from the side. Glad that worked. My finger slipped. You really know how to use a barrel lid. I have <laughs> my uncle to thank for that. We have to keep moving down river. I need to find a settlement. Somewhere to heal up. Lead the way, Shepard. Yes, please, lead. <laughs> People! Safety! Do you know this village? It's called Braga. But that's all I know. I've never been this far east. Describe it for me. Well, it looks like a village. Thank you. It's too small and out of the way for the horde to bother with. There's a smith, some cellars, an inn. 
Your leg. You going to be all right? Not without clean dressings and herbals. I don't have any money. You'll have to sell something. Your clothes, maybe. My clothes? Your fancy cloak must be worth something, and you'll draw less attention without it. Have a look around. I'll be at home here with the animals. I hear her close for copper, which is a weird thing in a small village to be saying, but uh, whatever. Oh, wrong button. Dude on the right saying. Can I stab him? Is that an option? Or two loaves, not clothes. Madam, a word. You looking for something, child? I'm looking for healing supplies. Dressings for a wound, and something for infection. Are you hurt? No, it's for my friend. Can you bring him in? I can have a look. I'll just take the supplies. It will be ten copper for the bandages and poultice. I'll be back with the coin. Take care, child. Hmm. Herbals, essentials, tonic forms, and ointments. Red bread, two loves. Let's talk to the annoying guy. Oh, too far. We have you covered north to south. What do you got? Yeah. Here's a young woman who knows a thing or two about finer things. I know a merchant from the capital when I see one. I can give you an excellent price on the furs. Well, fine pelts this warm west of Riverton. Actually, I'm looking to sell my cloak. Times is hard for me, too. Not sure what I could afford. A hundred oh. copper? I mistook you for a fellow merchant. I see now that you're a highway robber. Why don't you just take my entire car while you're at it? I could also throw in what's left of my teeth, if you like. What do you want, then? Ten copper. Final offer. Now who's the thief? Whoa, 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 no, no. Now that I see the cloak from the back, <laughs> it's very nice. Fifteen copper. Truly, my final offer. Yeah. Twenty. Done. That's 15 and 20 copper as agreed. Nice doing business with you. Fight oh god, hell. so loud. We had you covered north to south. Get away from him. Okay. Running into a building, it's fine. Herbals, essentials, stonic bombs and ointments. You still need those supplies, girl. I do. Yes, I do. Here you are. Thank you, child. And this is everything you need. Oh. Say it again. Red bread, two loaves for a copper. Alright, this direction? Oh, damn it. Yeah, it's still far to the right. Red bread, two loaves for here, sheep. sheep, thank you. This way, Alex. Okay, got him. Over here, sheep. Yes. Coming. I have the supplies. Thank you. Do you need help with the dressing? I know what I'm doing. Not my first blade wound. I've spent more time in pastures fending off bandits than wolves. I suppose you're not used to sleeping with livestock. Thankfully, no. <laughs> They're warm, at least. 
I'll need a couple of days before I can travel. Hmm. But it will give us time to collect a few things. We'll need a bow for hunting. Oh, Money. interesting. Don't suppose you know a trade? I'd like to find a better weapon. Perhaps some armor. A sheep in wolf's clothing. I suppose it will make bandits on the road think twice. Get some sleep, Alex. I'm waiting for another flashback. All right. We should head for the inn and ask about work. Won't get anywhere without going. Just follow the music. I was just gonna say, I'm gonna assume the music is what I'm looking for. I think I've zeroed in on it. Here we are, the wandering goat. I'll assume it's an inn and not a stable. Well, shall we enter? Press Sounds right like a wonderful enter. place. Left trigger to leave. It's pretty empty in here, but I guess it won't hurt to ask around. Push down on the left stick to cycle through interactions of interest. Press. I'm too old to be wandering around the wilderness. But I've heard there is a stolen strong box in a cave north of here. Hmm. These are gone, but the box is still there, apparently. Why would they abandon it? I don't know. It's just what I've heard. And the account was very detailed. They hid the box behind a waterfall at the back of the cave. What do you think, Shepard? I think it's a good way to get ambushed by a cave full of thieves. Exactly. Press right trigger to take up this quest. No, Left I trigger. I was supposed to meet my cousin here. I have a shipment of silks for him. Why he'd be trying to sell silk out here is beyond me. I spoke with your cousin. He was selling just outside. I've been told he ran afoul with the local fur traders. He's negotiating with them at their camp. I was hoping to find someone to accompany me there. Do we look like bodyguards? Ha! <laughs> no. But you're obviously not from the village. So I can trust you would be reliable witnesses on me behalf should something go wrong. I can pay you 50 copper. Ooh. Assuming I make it back here safely. Press right trigger to take up this quest. I like that. We'll do it. I kind of liked your cousin. Well, you'd be the first. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Who's we? Or I? You two can wait here. Ooh, fun. That's close enough. Gentlemen. Cousin. Hello, Byron. Tell them our offer. They want me to give them all my money and all my wares and head home with you, never to return here again, in exchange for me life. What they fail to understand is that me life ain't worth a third of that on the open market. It seems to me, cousin, that you don't have much of a bargaining position here. And on the contrary. You see, I hid the pelts, and if they kill me, they will never find them. And if you tell them where they are? then it will probably kill me anyway. Well, I fail to see what I can do to help here. Good luck, cousin. No, wait. Cousin. We should leave now. No! No, oh, please, help me. Help me! You can have your cloak back. Stand aside. Let's go, Alex. I said stand aside. No. He stays with us. To hell with you! There's something particularly enthralling about using a different sense to be able to fight. I mean, they're not making it difficult, but like... Still. <laughs> Tit for tat, I suppose, on that one. It's not worth it. <laughs> I hear you. Dog. 
That was reckless, Alex. Well, we couldn't just leave him. And why not? How could I ever find you? How about giving us the 50 copper your cousin promised us? Oh. All right. Did he die? I, I was about 35. What you happened? Dirty. I just... I just... 50 copper, and I, I, I'll throw in a couple pelts. Oh, thank you. Yeah? That seems fair. I guess. For your life. You have gained 50 copper in coin and salvage. Ah. Trust we're being led back to the village. <laughs> thank we have you. a little coin, so let's see about getting that bow. We should head for the smith. But what if I want more jobs? Is that an option? Actually, hang on, I need to see where I'm at on time here, because I have not been paying attention. Okay, I uh, actually, I think. Game options menu. Push down on the left stick to cycle menu. Game difficulty settings. Actually, now, now I've got the... Press the right trigger to select now I can an see. option. Use the left stick to cycle through options. That was actually a very cool experience. I would recommend this to anyone. <laughs> really, anyone. Um, like, I, I did kind of point out a couple of things. Like it, the, the combat's not really testing you too much. Uh, it, the first couple, you're like, wait, oh, wait, what am I doing? Where am I going? How, how is this working? But then after you've kind of let your hearing take over, it's a lot easier to figure out, you know, the directions that they're coming from. So I am playing with, or I was, I'm playing with a PS5 controller. I would, you do get a little bit of vibration feedback when you get hit, but that's really it. And I've, I haven't played too many games with the PS5 controller so far, actually on the PS5 that utilize the various haptic feedback functions. But I think it would be really interesting for this game or a game similar to in addition to audio, utilize the haptic feedback in a way. I don't know how. Don't get me wrong. I'm not like, well, they should have done this and that. I don't know. I have no clue. But it would be cool to see. <laughs> have, have some sort of feedback coming from the controller. I don't know what that would look like. But it's just a thought. Um, I think that's it then. This was a very cool experience. And I may continue playing on my own time just to see how it goes it's it's a new experience and i want to kind of get i want to familiarize myself with ways that a game could work like this for people that are unable to see the game so really cool and i would again i recommend anyone play this game just even to try it out just Getting to maybe an hour in like I did, because it really does give you a pretty good feel for how it works. Um, otherwise, uh, that's it. Thank you, everyone, for getting as far as that you did, if you're hearing this. And I'll see everyone next time for whatever new exciting game I decide to play. <laughs>